Jerry Jones and Dak Prescott were all smiles after Dak and the Cowboys finally agreed to a deal, with Jerry saying that most of the things in his life that turned out special, he overpaid for. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright. And Bill, when you talk about the, the face of the Dallas Cowboys, who is it, Jerry Jones or, or Dak Prescott? I believe at this minute, it's still Jerry. But if this is all going to work out, it has to become Dak because it needs to be out the, about the product on the, the football field and, and that quarterback rather than the, the, the guy who's paying him. I think, you know, wh whether it's Dak Prescott as the quarterback or if it was Tony Romo as the quarterback or Troy Aikman as the quarterback, the face of the franchise is and always will be Jerry Jones. Good old Jerry. I mean, you think about what he's done in terms of being an NFL owner, even if you just ask someone who's the first NFL owner that you think of, Jerry Jones. You think about the Dallas Cowboys, it's Jerry Jones. You watch a Dallas Cowboys game, every single game they show Jerry Jones in his owner's box. They only do that for very rare instances across the league. Maybe Robert Kraft has Bon Jovi in his press, uh, press box or owner's box or uh, some uh, Jay-Z or, or Meek Mill, someone that is popular outside of football, then they'll show Robert Kraft. Jerry Jones gets that camera on him every single game. He is the Dallas Cowboys. I think until something happens with ownership, he will be the face of the franchise. And I think that's exactly how he likes it. Well, look, it works from a financial standpoint. I don't think you can argue about that. But from a, a results standpoint, I mean, can you think of another example? Can you think of an example of a team that we think of as an elite team where the, the face is the, the guy who owns it or runs it and not the, the guy who, who runs things on the, on the field or court? And, and, and you ask any Cowboys fan, and most of them hate the way that Jerry Jones has ran this team. They all, he has to give up control of, of personnel. And, you know, on paper, I believe he has the, the old story – from a couple of years ago is people had a you know, on, on the draft war room, they had to rip the phone away from him so that he wouldn't select Johnny Manziel. Um, I, I love those kind of stories, those urban legend kind of stories about different things behind the scenes in the NFL. And Jerry Jones certainly has a lot of them. Now, if they go out and win a Super Bowl, you will see Dak Prescott being on every magazine, Sports Illustrated included, with that Lombardi trophy. Uh, he'll be all over social media as the player that got them to the Super Bowl. But make, most, make no mistake about it, Jerry Jones will do equal amount of interviews, late night television, guest appearances on radio. Jerry Jones will be just as much in the media if that Lombardi trophy ever does come back uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. Well, Jerry ain't going away. That, that's clear. But if things go the way that they want them to, uh, it's going to have to be Dak Prescott. And, and, and I think, you know, we, we see the star power in a sense that, that Dak has because of all the talk that's gone uh, around his contract. But maybe some of that also has to do with the star that's on his helmet.